When we started thinking about Kills on Shadowfall, we wanted to have a story that would allow us to do something new with the franchise and, and something different. One thing that, that really stood out uh, early on is somebody mentioned the Iron Curtain in space. The world that you play in, and a large part of it, is done in Vector City, where the Helghast and the VSA are living together. The city is divided in two parts. On the one hand, you have this large, beautiful world, which used to be uh, the Vector City, but on the other side of the wall, there is now New Helghast. This is very much a story of people in conflict. It's civilizations, both who feel equally justified in their actions, going head to head. We've always drawn on kind of history. We're a science fiction universe, but at the same time it has to be relatable, it has to be something that is grounded. It reminds us also of the Berlin Wall, where this threat has always been looming over Europe, like this uh, nuclear devastation. I still remember from when I was little, looking at the Berlin Wall situation, you sort of grew up being told that, you know, the, the, the people on the other side of the wall were the wrong ones and we were the right ones. Everybody in the East just sounded really scary and really dangerous and what was beyond that wall you cannot trust and it was all, all sorts of propaganda almost. And then when the, the wall was broken down, you saw it really wasn't like that at all. What you see in, in real conflicts as well is that the bad guys aren't just bad, there's also, you know, there's also civilians and good guys. And that plays through uh, as a theme in Kills and Shadowfall. The game initially sets you up to hate these other guys. I mean, you're shooting these bad guys, you think they're bad guys, and then you start to realize that there's more to them. I can't believe they just throw us out like that. We have rights too. And I think that's kind of an interesting thing to, to start playing with. Can I overcome my own prejudice of what is beyond that wall? So rather than, again, having a soldier that's part of a squad going on a scenario where it's a full-out war, we wanted to, to have a story that would allow us to do a bit more thoughtful gameplay, um, but maybe also tell a story that has multiple layers in them. In this game, you're the Shadow Marshal, so not only are you close to the decision makers, you see the kind of the power brokers making all the high-level decisions. It's really down to kind of your leaders to resolve this conflict, because if it doesn't, then everybody suffers. They seem to be orphans. They're throwaway people. They're people who've been abandoned and have lost their value. The theme of home is, is, is really powerful, because everybody has a home. What do people who have been rejected by their societies, what do they go on and do? And in many cases, they have a grief that moves them forward, but it also gives them a kind of freedom that in some way they feel like they have nothing left to lose. For those willing to listen, there's, there's something to adjust their own kind of thinking. You start realizing that they're not all bad and they're all also trying to kind of fight for their own freedoms and their own home. And that transforms the experience that you have as a player as well. <laughs>